Hello. Can't smoke in here. All right. Thank you. Sir, you can't yeah. smoke in here. Sorry, Please. sorry, Doc. Sorry, Doc. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. Merry Christmas. Okay.
it might be helpful to take your mind off all that with some good old fashioned homicide what do you say so <laughs> there's been a development you ever heard of Mr. Richard Hart no neither did I he uh, some do good in the local community fundraising shit like that you know helping out those who need help all around good egg anyway Turns out he was a Nazi. And I don't mean I don't know, new metal Nazi or whatever neo Nazi. I mean the proper war criminal, Karl Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Well, anyway. You wonder why I'm telling you this? Well, I'll confuse you a little bit more, shall I? Mr. Reinhardt, or sorry, Hart, has been dead for years, 25, 30 years. I know, what am I talking about? I woke you up after well, pretty unpleasant car ride over here and I'm talking to you about dead fascists I thought it was fun but it turns out Mr. Reinhardt Mr. Hart as he liked to be called when he attempted to make amends for what he'd done he was paid a visit, potentially by a mutual friend of ours. Yeah. Someone dug up or exhumed the corpse of this Nazi and burned the remains. I mean, I guess, you know, this Kotcher was a bad guy and all. Maybe someone wanted revenge for what he'd done in the war, or whatever. Look at this. They found items at the burial site where the body had been dug up. Items that belonged to one Dr. Malcolm Alvik. Yeah. So now, this all got me thinking, okay, so we got our case, We're probably going to be taken over by the feds, whatever. While we still got time, we can investigate, try to help make a difference, you know, help Mrs. Malcolm find some peace of mind. But then... We find evidence related to our case at the scene of, I don't know what you call it, exhumation. I, I don't know what the verb is. So, our perp goes from the scene of the crime, then within 12 hours or so, to the man. Is it a graveyard with Dr. Malcolm's belongings digging up some long dead Nazi? I tell you, I did not see that coming. 
Come on. Laugh. No, it's all true, but it's a good joke, right? Hey, come on. Hey, you almost killed me. But here's the bit. You remember I told you that Malcolm Place? It's got one of those, I don't know, access control systems with a camera. You have to look through the only way in to the building is if someone lets you in. Unless you know the system, but they're proprietary, difficult. Anyone who work for the company, they'll be on a list. We know them. At the exhumation of the Nazi, there's a priest, right? I'm putting the notes down. There's a priest. Okay, well, big whoop. There's a priest at a cemetery. But the priest is the one who dug up the corpse. There's security cameras, all kinds of shit at these places now, right? And then I think, okay, well, who would you let get to your house if they were buzzing on the door? You saw their face and you didn't know I'm a stranger, but they need a qualification. You know what I mean? What professions? I can only think of a few. You got your cops, right? And then what? They'd only let you in if you showed ID. We carry our ID around with us, etc. Who else? Family, of course. But, you know, it didn't seem like a family crime, you know what I'm saying? And you got your salespeople, reps, whatever, security people, firemen, whatever, your doctor. What about priests? You trust them, right? Why wouldn't you? If a priest came to your door, they wanted to come in for one reason or another. You let him in, wouldn't you? You consider it. So that got me thinking, the priest, that's the prop. A murderer, priest, not good. Not good for Catholicism, anyway. But then, you remember, just before you tried to kill me, just before you crashed, which wasn't your fault, by the way, I was talking to you about a case a long time ago, like two years, I, I don't know, I can't remember. District Attorney Hoffman, he disappeared. I was one of the first responders. It was a disaster, an operation ran by the, the feds. It was meant to be part of anti-corruption ring that they had a task force for, you know. Apparently Hoffman had been trafficking humans or really nuts shit, believe me. I never met the fellow. I heard he was okay, but it didn't surprise me when I heard this. So this case, I mean, I say I didn't work it, the first responder. When it happened, a lot of people died. None of them good. There were federal agents involved, U.S. Marshals, undercover assets, cops, you name it. An old colleague, the 
with mine. Somehow, God himself, bro, I could burn. Huh. Well, I changed him. As if he wasn't changed before. Anyway, it's a long story I'm spinning for you, huh? Maybe love you sleep. Hoffman was the target, and anyone associated with his criminal operations, his daughter or something, his son had been killed before by a priest. That was the report. And then, there was this firefight, a bloodbath like hell. Hoffman disappeared. His daughter disappeared. There was a psychopath there, came out of nowhere, killed people. U.S. Marshal, some fucking freak with a mask, disappeared. Some Hollywood producer, porn, something, I don't know. He was there, must have been part of the human trafficking ring. Disappeared, there was blood, DNA. Everywhere for all of them, and a, a lot of bodies that weren't them. One of the bodies was a priest. I remember this vividly. I was there, they hadn't died. Faster than a priest in a bar after Sunday. The Vatican show up, push their way in, and the priest is gone. I couldn't see the guy's face on the surveillance from the cemetery, just that he's wearing a collar. And funnily enough, the priest at the scene of that crime years ago was wearing a mask. The Vatican covered it up. The FBI raid disaster, that was covered up too. Uh, the, the person, oh, I think, a woman, some funny Hebrew name. I'm pretty sure she got arrested or buried in paperwork for the rest of her days. And all these people just vanish. All of these random, random people in one place at one time just die or disappear. Doesn't make sense. And now, random murders. There's a trail of killings that seems somehow related. This is going to sound weird. I listen back to my recording.
And it all seemed normal at first. Me, yeah, and you being completely silent. But then I heard something. I heard something that didn't belong. I know you're tired. And I know you feel like shit. But could you listen? Just so I know that I'm not going crazy. I warn you. It's weird. So. Just to get a few things straight. Just not tell me as much as you're comfortable. Please. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. What do you mean? 